For me, this is a detective story. I loved detective story from childhood. And Manisi was one of the cities of the Silk Road. In 91, our team found human jaw. It was one of the last days of the excavations. And it was a very big surprise for us. This jaw, which dates 1.8 million years old, was earliest human remains outside of Africa. The age was so important because nobody believed that humans were able to left Africa before one million years old. Prevailing view was that when humans left Africa, they had larger brains and sophisticated stone tools. But Manisi changed these ideas. Early 90s were quite difficult time for country. Economically, we had a civil war, and it was time of real collapse of Soviet system. So it was hard for science, very hard, but we were continuing to work. This is one of the richest sports in the world. Could you imagine two skulls and three human jaws were found here? So this is amazing. Maybe this is a place for Guinness Book. Well, it's, the only thing this could be is homo or a carnivore, and it's a tarsal bone. We organized international and interdisciplinary team. We have famous scientists from one hand, and also new generation of the students just starting their career. So second human born today. I was inspired by success. That's why I would like that these young people will see success and it will have influence. Rolex Award is crucial to start protection of the site, which risks to be destroyed by nature or by humans. To preserve it, at the same time to continue research and to leave it accessible for public. I would say today George is searching his own place in the world. And cultural heritage is one of the opportunities to be on the geographic map. Science is not just for scientists, it's useful. Archaeology will be helpful for country and for economy. And it will be helpful for the future generations. We explored maybe one percent of the site. Daily we are getting new evidence for the end of the crime story. To Manisia brings a lot of questions and answers should come.